According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, the building and construction industry contributed 7% to GDP in the first quarter of 2018. The steady growth witnessed in the sector has been attributed to increased demand driven by mega infrastructural projects in railway and roads. However, land acquisition remains a challenge owing to speculation and hoarding. Land is available aplenty, but land is being hoarded. Land values are speculative because we treated land as an investment. How do we turn around the mindset of the average Kenyan? So land becomes a factor of production, an input in production in delivering the 500,000 houses. The government is keen on relooking at land policies with the view of having land referred to as a factor of production and not a commodity of trade which will facilitate land swapping. Land swap for opportunities, land swap for other benefits so the land can be available for development and therefore land ceases being a hindrance to production of houses. There were proposals to reintroduce a 0.5% construction levy in a move aimed at bolstering the National Construction Authority execute its oversight role. They are operate as virtual monopolies because they are so strong that the regulator is powerless to, to, to face them. Let us empower this authority if it is to make our nascent construction industry and for me the way to do it is to reintroduce the 0.5% levy. The three-day conference has attracted over 7,000 delegates and 220 exhibitors from 30 countries. Regina Manyara Gita reporting for Channel One Business.